Breezewood. Word. It's a breeze and we in the woods. So, <laughs> All right, how you feeling? We have a good time walk. We have a ball, brother. We have a ball. Tell them where we going. What's going we on right now? We're on our way to Cheney University as well as Lincoln University in the eastern Pennsylvania, Philly area. Uh, we're going to have a good time. These propelled scholars are looking excited. They're happy to be here. Hey, we happy? Yeah. yeah. It's somebody's birthday weekend. Okay, oh. okay. Hey. What's, your, what's your name? My name is Mr. Terrell Williams. What you do? Some people call me Uncle Rail. I work for Propel as a scholar opportunity coordinator. Okay, cool. It's my job to make sure these scholars have opportunities. Yeah. And that they do things that will abundantly help them for the future. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Yeah. we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. from um, plays, public speaking, you know, whatever we use, whatever you can think of, or the type of host we had, movie theater, okay? <laughs> for the, uh, the students that couldn't make it like the students that couldn't make it i would say you should definitely come to the school this is a good school especially if you're real big on your community this is yeah. like real family oriented uh find your people find your place there's a place for everybody here everything's not for everybody there's different type of organizations that you can join but find your place find your people find your niche and once you find it stick to it uh get involved use all your resources there's too many you cannot fail unless you want to there's, we have the writing center, we have tutors, we have everything. Like, you can literally just walk in there whenever you want, pick up essay, math, whatever you need help with. Like, the only way to fail is if you want. So it's like, just use all your resources. That's perfect. Get a mentor. Thank you. chose the HBCU because that's what I wanted and I went to a predominantly white high school so I wanted a new experience within the black community so HBCU is definitely the way to go but always keep your options like apply as many schools as you can you never know how much money you're going to get offered or what they're going to give you housing scholarship wise so definitely just apply to as many colleges as y'all can really and that's probably the best advice I can give y'all right now as 12th graders. My name is Deja. I'm the third floor art of this building called Daily Hall. I'm the secretary of the copping room and I'm secretary of the cleaning room. Um, one thing you can expect from copping is a family. You will not 
go around the campus without feeling loved. Everybody speaks to everybody. Everybody's very supportive of what you do. Even though this is a small campus, it, you, you're gonna feel the love regardless on campus from like your RAs, the administration, students. I believe because our campus is very small, it's more intimate and you get to learn, you get to like know everybody, not just like somebody you wanna meet in person. You, you'll know everybody you meet in person. Like you're gonna see them more than once. I found, honestly, I found my friends here. I found like my, um, my friend who's in there, she said she found her bridesmaids here. Mm. They're gonna be my bridesmaids as well. Mm. Um, I found lifelong friends with the RA staff, um, with the administration. And personally, coming to COP, even though it is small, it, it, um, it made me be able to step out of my comfort zone. People who don't know me think I'm very shy, but the people who do know me intimately see that I am outgoing. I love to talk, I love to teach, I love to do a lot of things other than just sit in my room and right, not right. talk to anybody. Right. All right, that's cool. Thank, Thank you. you. It's nothing like an HBCU, first of all. And they all my cousins. But my brothers and sisters here at Morgan, we the joint. <laughs> no joke. We got the best engineering school out there. I'm a engineer. I'm a <laughs> that is true. My sister went to Howard, but she would have came to Morgan. See, uh, that's all I got to say. <laughs> now, I'm going to throw out something real quick. How many of y'all want to be engineering majors? I think you should take down my email. Albert.sweets at morgan.edu. I got scholarship money. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. I, I'm just saying. I'm, generations. Those man, that want to be cybersecurity, mm. artificial intelligence, machine learning. I can pay all the way to your PhD. So I hope I get an email at some point to say, oh, I came from Pittsburgh. I met you in the hallway. I didn't really vibe with you, but we can have a conversation. Well, take that Albert dot sweets at Morgan dot e. S W E E T S. He recording it, so he got everything. I mean, I would talk to the guy with the camera. I can help anybody, but the engineers, I got you. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I know you talk about Georgia Tech. I know you talk about Stanford. But most of the black people come from HBCUs that go there. Because we do one heck of a job. Now I can help the computer science and the fine arts and the business people too. We can all talk about it. I'm a gateway to a lot of things. That's the best information you're gonna get today. And so entering into this space, I'll tell y'all, <laughs> it wasn't an easy one. All right, I come from humble beginnings, so. College was not in my foreseeable future growing up. It was something that I saw for myself. However, my pockets didn't see it for myself. Ask questions. <coughs> Put your best foot forward, because at the end of the day, if you don't, somebody else will. Go. Yeah, uh, what's your name? My name is Caleb. Caleb, where we at? Uh, we at Morgan State University. All right, so like, can you give me some just like you know, uh, kind of like advice or just you know, uh, talk about like your experience here for the you know, the uh, people, the students that's you know, the young boys and girls that's watching? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, just when you come in here, just you know, I mean, it's my first year here, but yeah, you, know, you just got to come here, you got to do the work. It's, it's, uh, it's easy to get distracted. That was very easy to get distracted. I didn't think it was that until, you know, I actually got in the mood or anything. But I mean, college is sweet. I mean, you feel me? You can do whatever you want. You just got to make sure you get to work out and go to class. Try to get cool with your professor. Like, they, they'll help you out for real. Definitely get cool with your professor. But they have big help because you, you see them every day. They don't want to give you a sign. So. Exactly. Just do the work. Yeah. Just do the work. You're going to be straight. Just do the work. Yeah, good work. Parties, the party's going to be there. It's parties every weekend. You're right. not missing you no parties. Nothing. As long as you get that work done, you're going you gonna to make the party. The party's going to be there. Definitely. Right. 
Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate it's, it's just different. When it comes to school, um, I know everybody's trying. I, I bet everybody's trying to go to a four-year. It's okay going to community college. Don't don't be okay. Don't don't shy away from it. Yeah. Saves money. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, we have we have a we're an open campus, so you'll see people walking their dogs and stuff like that. But yeah, don't be deterred to go to a community college if you can't go to a four-year. Um, because of the fact it's cheaper. Uh, you get your general classes out the way. Then once you get to your second year or I think your third year. That's when you start working on focusing on your major. How you feeling, brother? Hey, in total reverence, man. That, that really, you know, I'm a student of history, man. I, I love this. So this is my first time seeing Dr. King, and I'm, you know, I want to get emotional because I know how I feel. Yeah. But I want the kids to get it. Yeah. You know, I, that would make me feel good. Yeah. Yeah, bro. This, this is it. Yeah. Okay. How you feeling about the trip? It's good. It's really fun. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Any any uh, schools you interested in? Um, Morgan State and Lincoln. Okay. 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 My boy Pat. Let's go, baby. What's good? I'm with Morgan State. I'm going to Morgan State. It's over. Okay. Okay. What about you? We talking about hey, as far as like, baby. like what, like, yeah. How's your experience been so far? Man, been good, man. I mean, good to see black people succeed. Yeah. All levels of life, man. It's real good. Yeah. It's real good. Any uh colleges okay. you think about going to? Uh, Morgan State for sure. Okay. Yeah. Your experience. All right, cost like yeah, just cool. being here. Yep. Uh, it was good because I don't really know about that much about HBCUs. Yeah. Any colleges you were planning on attending? Um, Lincoln was a good one that I was thinking of for a minute. Ago. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Right that's really. Okay. All right. I appreciate you, bro.